Hey everyone, here's a question from Polynomial and this question is asked by Asha. So the question is, if alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial 3x square plus 5x minus 2, then form a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1. The polynomial given here is 3x square plus 5x minus 2. And to understand in better way, we're going to take a general polynomial which will be ax square plus bx plus c where this a, b and c will be the coefficient. So x square plus bx plus c. Now we know that zeros of the polynomial, zeros is something but the solution of the polynomial, here I'm going to take it as alpha and beta. If alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial, then sum of the zeros that is alpha plus zero, alpha plus beta will be equal to minus b by a and product of the zeros that is alpha into beta will be c by a, a, b, c are coefficient. Now, if we know the sum of the zeros, that is alpha plus beta is equal to S, suppose, and alpha into beta is equal to T, then using this, we can able to rewrite the polynomial again. So, the polynomial will look like x, x square minus Sx plus T. So, here we have to find out the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros. But before that, let us find out what is alpha plus beta value and alpha into beta value using the polynomial 3x square plus 5x minus 2. Once we got this, we're going to use that to find out the alpha, 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1. So given polynomial here is 3x square plus 5x minus 2, right? So alpha plus beta. So if I substitute this in the formula, it is minus b by a. So minus b value is 5 and a value will be 3. Similarly, alpha into beta will be c by a. So, in place of c, we have minus 2. So, it will be minus 2 by 3. Now, we got alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. Now, I am going to find out the actual value. That is, I have to find out the polynomial, right? And for that quadratic polynomial, they have given the zeros are 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1. Generally, we take alpha and beta as a zeros, but for this polynomial, they have given zeros are 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1. So, if I add these two um, zeros, so we know that alpha plus beta is equal to, but that is what I have to find out, right? So, I, I can get back to the polynomial. So, I'm going to add these zeros, that is 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1. So, it will be, the, you just add the 1, so it will be 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, here 2 is common, so I'm going to take the 2 out. So, it will be 2 into alpha plus beta plus 1. Now, I know alpha plus beta using the given polynomial, right? For 3x square plus 5x minus 2. I'm going to substitute the value here. So, 2 into alpha, in place of alpha plus beta, we'll substitute minus 5 by 3 and then plus 1. So, you have to add this. So, you don't have to take calcium or you want to take calcium, you can take that. I'm going to directly add it. It will be minus 5 plus 3 upon 3. So, minus 5 plus 3 is 2. So, we'll get here. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. So, we'll get 2 into minus 2 upon 3, which will be equal to minus 4 upon 3. Right, so we got sum of the zeros, that is this value minus 4 upon 3, what we got, it is equal to S, like I explained like uh, before, like uh, what is alpha plus beta is S and alpha into beta is equal to 2. If I compare that, the sum of the zeros, I got the value is minus 4 by 3, which is equal to S. I'm going to substitute that back in the polynomial there. Now, now I'm going to find out the product of the zeros, that is alpha, 2 alpha plus 1 into 2 beta plus 1. So, open the brackets, multiply them. So, you have to use a distributive property here or just simply open the brackets, multiply the terms here. So, this will be equal to, I'm going to multiply 2 alpha with 2 beta. So, 2 alpha into 2 beta will be 4 alpha beta. Now, multiply 2 alpha with 1. So, it will be 2 alpha. 2 alpha into 1 is 2 alpha. Now, multiply 1 by 2 beta, it will be 2 beta. Again, 1 into 1 will be 1. Now, we're going to substitute the values. We know alpha into beta, right? Before we have written alpha into beta is the formula is C by minus C, uh, sorry, C by A. C value is minus 2, so minus 2 by 3. Substitute that here. So, minus 2 by 3. And here, 2 alpha, 2 beta, we have, we're going to take a 2 common outside. It will be alpha plus beta and then plus 1. So, this is equal to 4 into, 
So if you just multiply 4 into minus 2 is minus 8, so minus 8 by 3 plus in place of alpha plus beta, I'm going to substitute minus 5 by 3. We have written this value in the beginning, alpha into beta and alpha plus beta value. It is uh, minus b by a, so minus 5 by 3 will get plus 1. So we have to solve this, we have to add all these numbers. So the LCM will be 3, so minus 8 by 3. Multiply this, we're going to get minus 10 by 3. 2 into minus 5 is minus 10. So minus 10 by 3 plus 1. So just take LCM and do it. I'm going to do it directly here. So it will be minus 8 plus minus 10 in the bracket. And then plus 3 whole divide by 3. So add the negative terms first. It will minus 8 plus minus 10 will be minus 18. So we'll get here. Okay, minus 8 minus 10 plus 3 upon 3 which is equal to minus 8 up, minus 18 plus 3 upon 3 so minus 18 plus 3 will be minus 15 so this is equal to so let me raise this part here minus 15 by 3 or you can cancel this or just leave it like that now here we got sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros so using this we can able to form a quadratic polynomial okay so let me raise this part first and now I'm going to write down the values. So 2 alpha plus 1 and plus 2 beta plus 1 that is sum of the zeros is equal to minus 4 by 3 we have got right. And product of the zeros that is 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1 is equal to minus 15 by 3. Now, before I explain to you, like if we know the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros, we can substitute the values and get the quadratic polynomial, right? I have to explain to you S and T, the same thing. So, let me rewrite this. Suppose alpha plus beta is equal to S and alpha into beta is equal to T. Using this, we can form a polynomial. It will look like x square minus S x plus T. We have to directly substitute in this, so where alpha and beta are the zeros. But here for this given quadratic polynomial, the, in the question they have given that zeros are 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1. So that is why we have added 2 alpha plus 1 and 2 beta plus 1 and we have multiplied. So if I substitute this, it will look like x square minus in place of s, I have minus 4 by 3. Then plus t value is minus 15 by 3. So let me rewrite this once again. I'm going to multiply the minus sign. So minus into minus will become plus. So x square plus 4 by 3x minus 15 by 3. So this is a required polynomial. Now you can do one more thing. In case this SNT is confusing you, you have learned that alpha plus beta is my uh, b by a minus b by a and alpha into beta is c by a, right? You can write in that form also. If you write in that form, you will get 3x square plus 4x minus 15. Why I have written this? So if you compare this, the s value is minus b by a, right? In place of minus b, we have minus 4. In place of uh, a, we have a 3. We can just compare the values here. In place of b, we have 4. In place of c, we have minus 15. So if you substitute in the given expression ax square plus bx plus c, you're going to get back this same expression. 